For many, Antarctica is just a pile of ice and snow. However, this icy part of our planet hides many more secrets than you thought. Join us as we talk about some of the weirdest things scientists have found there. From bizarre sea creatures to mysterious extraterrestrials. 20. The Antarctic King. When we think of dinosaurs, their giant body is probably the first thing that comes to mind. However, the latest discovery takes us to a different scale, a creature the size of an iguana, appropriately dubbed the Antarctic King. Unearthed in the rocks near the South Pole, this carnivorous reptile lived approximately 250 million years ago, providing a glimpse into Antarctica's prehistoric environment. Contrary to today's icy landscape, the region was then characterized by warmth, forests, rivers, and diverse wildlife. The Antarctic King, scientifically named Antarctanax shackletoni, belonged to the Archosaur family, early relatives of both crocodiles and dinosaurs. This finding not only introduces a new member to the dinosaur family tree, but also sheds light on the aftermath of the end Permian mass extinction event known as the Great Dying, which occurred 252 million years ago. Remarkably, Antarctanax lived just 2 million years after this catastrophic event, challenging the notion that it took tens of millions of years for diverse species to repopulate the Earth. Brandon Peacock, a researcher at the Field Museum in Chicago, emphasizes the significance of the discovery. The fossilized remains, though partial, provided distinct features leading to the identification of a new archosaur species. Antarctanax, with its iguana-sized stature, adds a crucial piece to the puzzle of Earth's post-extinction recovery. It highlights Antarctica as a hub of rapid evolution and diversification during this period, challenging previous assumptions about the pace of recovery. As we unravel more about prehistoric Antarctica, the Antarctic King becomes a fascinating chapter in the ongoing exploration of Earth's history, offering a glimpse into a time when the southernmost continent harbored a unique and thriving ecosystem. 19. Thousands of strange blue lakes, thousands of pristine blue lakes have emerged on East Antarctica's ice sheets, and scientists are raising the alarm. Initially thought to be impervious to climate change, East Antarctica has revealed nearly 8,000 supraglacial lakes, meltwater ponds formed as warm air heats the ice surface. This phenomenon, previously observed in Greenland, is now a cause for concern in Antarctica. Researchers, led by Emily Langley and Stuart Jameson of Durham University, conducted an analysis of the Langhovde Glacier using satellite images. Between 2000 and 2013, these lakes formed and, disturbingly, appear to be draining into the glacier, potentially weakening it and increasing the risk of fracturing. This revelation challenges the assumption that East Antarctica is stable, resembling Greenland's concerning trend of rapid ice loss. The lakes, which reflect vibrant blue hues, are a consequence of rising air temperatures during the Southern Hemisphere's summer. As the lakes form and subsequently drain into the ice below, they could compromise the stability of the entire ice shelf. While researchers hesitate, to declare the beginning of the end for the East Antarctic ice sheet. They emphasize the urgent need to understand the impact of supraglacial lakes on this region. The findings underscore the unpredictable nature of Earth's climate and the vulnerability of even the most remote and seemingly stable environments. With rising global temperatures, the appearance of these lakes in East Antarctica serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of climate processes and the need for ongoing research to comprehend and address the repercussions. 18, 17 pound meteorite hidden away for thousands of years. Imagine exploring the icy vastness of Antarctica and stumbling upon 
a celestial treasure, a hefty 17 pound or 7.7 kilogram meteorite. That's precisely what happened to Maria Valdez, a scientist from the Field Museum in Chicago and her team during an Antarctic mission in late December. This meteorite, heavier than most bowling balls or Halloween pumpkins, is a rare find, with only about 1 in 450 meteorites discovered in Antarctica reaching this substantial weight. Meteorites, usually ranging from pebble to fist size, bombard Earth daily, contributing approximately 53 tons or 48.5 tons of debris from ancient meteors. Interestingly, more than 60,000 meteorites have been identified on Earth, the majority originating from asteroids, while a small fraction, around 0.2%, hail from Mars or the Moon. Notably, at least 175 meteorites are confirmed to be from Mars. This meteorite likely journeyed from the main asteroid belt, settling in Antarctica tens of thousands of years ago, However, scientists, including researcher Ryoga Maida, must analyze the rock in a laboratory to draw firm conclusions about its type and origin. Antarctica proves to be a meteorite haven due to its expansive ice plains. Even if these space rocks sink into the ice, the ever-churning glaciers beneath resurface them on blue ice fields creating a striking contrast against the snowy white landscape. 17. 285-mile-long river discovered. Beneath the vast, icy expanse of Antarctica, a remarkable discovery has shaken up our understanding of its subglacial landscape, a colossal 285-mile or 460-kilometer river, longer than the Thames, has been identified. This revelation challenges the previous assumption of limited water at the base of Antarctic ice sheets, transforming our perception of the region's vulnerability to climate changes. Scientists warn that this river, hidden beneath several kilometers of ice, may be contributing to accelerated ice loss as global temperatures rise. The research team, using airborne radar surveys, unveiled the intricate network of interconnected rivers, defying the belief that subglacial lakes were isolated. The newfound river system has significant implications for the stability of the ice sheets and their response to temperature variations. Professor Martin Siegert of Imperial College London emphasized the importance of understanding the slipperiness of the ice base in determining how much ice melts and how quickly the newly discovered river emerging into the sea beneath a floating ice shelf stirs warmer water towards the ice, causing it to melt from below. This mechanism, previously unknown, sheds light on the complex interactions between the ice, rivers, and the ocean. The study focused on an inaccessible region incorporating ice from both the East and West Antarctic ice sheets highlighting the vast gaps in our knowledge of this frozen continent. Researchers stress the need to incorporate the existence of these large rivers into climate change predictions for Antarctica. If the summers are warm enough to trigger substantial ice melting, it could transform the dynamics, potentially making Antarctica more susceptible to rapid ice loss, akin to Greenland, 16 90 million year old rainforest. It sounds crazy, but scientists have found the remnants of a thriving 90 million year old rainforest in Antarctica, challenging our preconceptions of the icy continent. Unearthed by an international team of paleontologists and geologists, the discovery showcases well-preserved fossilized roots, pollen, and spores that paint a vivid picture of an ancient ecosystem near the South Pole during the mid-Cretaceous period. This period, marked by the heyday of dinosaurs, surprisingly hosted temperatures as high as 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius in the tropics, making it the warmest epoch in the past 140 million years. The evidence comes from a sediment core 
drilled at the site near Pine Island and Thwaites Glaciers in West Antarctica, revealing an unexpected treasure trove. The sediment core, showcasing a distinct coloration, led scientists to a 10-foot or 3-meter-long network of fossil roots, impressively intact and revealing individual cell structures. Countless traces of pollen and spores, including remnants of flowering plants, were also uncovered, providing unprecedented insight into the diverse plant life that once thrived near the South Pole. Notably, this discovery challenges assumptions about the environment's harshness, suggesting that even during months of darkness, swampy, temperate rainforests were flourishing. To reconstruct the ancient environment, researchers delved into the modern descendants of these plants and analyzed temperature and precipitation indicators within the samples. Their findings indicate that 90 million years ago, Antarctica was draped in dense vegetation, absent of ice masses on the scale of contemporary ice sheets and featured a far higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than previously estimated for the mid-Cretaceous period 15, the Bleeding Glacier. Have you ever heard of a bloody glacier? It sounds like something out of a horror movie, but welcome to Antarctica's Taylor Glacier and its infamous blood falls. Now, don't be misled by the name. It's not a waterfall of blood, but the mystery behind its eerie red hue puzzled scientists for decades. Initially credited to red algae, the truth behind this crimson spectacle has recently been unveiled by a team of intrepid scientists, including National Geographic explorer Erin C. Pettit. Beneath the icy surface of Taylor Glacier lies a hidden network of subglacial rivers and a subglacial lake, all filled with iron-rich brine. It's like discovering a secret underground river system, but with a twist. The brine's unique composition plays a starring role in this glacial drama. It remains in liquid form, defying the bone-chilling temperature of 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 17 degrees Celsius, thanks to a combination of latent heat and its high salt content. So, the next time someone tells you about a waterfall of blood in Antarctica, you can impress them with the scientific scoop. 14. Massive Phantom Jellyfish Deep in the frigid waters off the coast of Antarctica, a group of lucky cruise liner guests had an encounter straight out of a fictional movie, Giant Phantom Jellyfish. Cruise line operator Viking deployed submersibles in early 2022, unveiling a spectacle rarely seen by human eyes. These otherworldly creatures, scientifically known as Stygiomedusa gigantea, are among the largest invertebrate predators in the deep sea. Imagine jellyfish longer than 16 feet or 4.8 meters, with one majestic specimen stretching an impressive 33 feet, which is approximately 10 meters. For Daniel Moore, Viking's chief scientist and the study's first author, the excitement was palpable when he saw a picture on a guest's camera. It was a rare sighting and the thrill was infectious. Giant phantom jellyfish are usually elusive, inhabiting every ocean except the Arctic, lurking in the depths beyond human reach. Yet, the Antarctic Peninsula revealed a surprise direct observations of these creatures at depths of 260 feet or 80 meters. Their typical habitat extends much deeper, beyond 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters, but around Antarctica, they seem to be breaking tradition. The why of their shallow sojourn remains a mystery. Perhaps they rise to the shallows to bask in the Antarctic UV rays, clearing themselves of pesky parasites, or maybe it's the upwelling deep waters lifting them. Daniel hopes these encounters contribute to unraveling the enigma of giant phantom jellyfish lives. 13. Possible UFO crash site. This footage may be the key to confirming the existence of extraterrestrials. A video capturing what appeared to be 
a mysterious 160 foot or 48 meter long object on a glacier in South Georgia, Antarctica, quickly set the internet abuzz with UFO crash site speculations. The video even showed a trace, suggesting a dramatic descent across the frozen surface, fueling imaginations of a close encounter. But let's step back and separate fact from fiction. Following the intriguing trace led to a surprising reality, an escarpment of a mountain. A closer look at aerial photography from Google Earth unveiled the aftermath of a significant mass movement, possibly a rockfall or an ice avalanche. Landslides, it turns out, can travel astonishing distances. What about that supposed UFO? Large, rounded boulders have a knack for rolling down slopes. And if the surface is slick with ice or snow, even angular blocks can traverse considerable distances, leaving behind visible traces. 12. First, active methane leak from seabed. Let's take a journey beneath the icy depths of Antarctica, where scientists have unveiled a startling revelation. The first active leak of methane from the seafloor. This elusive gas, a potent contributor to climate change, is believed to be stored in vast quantities beneath the Antarctic seabed. The discovery made near the Ross Sea sparks concerns as the planet warms, potentially triggering more releases. What's intriguing is the unexpected delay in microbial activity that usually devours escaping methane. After five years, these microbes arrived in small numbers allowing the gas to slip into the atmosphere. This delay challenges current climate models, which don't factor in such nuances, urging scientists to recalibrate their understanding. The story unfolds with the chance discovery by divers in 2011, revealing a mysterious seep at cinder cones in McMurdo Sound. The site, covered in white microbial mats, offered a rare glimpse into the Antarctic methane cycle, a topic shrouded in mystery. The Antarctic methane cycle, still largely uncharted territory, is crucial for comprehending Earth's complex systems. But why did this seep emerge and what factors influenced its formation? The site's proximity to an active volcano adds to the mystery, challenging scientists to unravel the secrets hidden beneath the ice. Despite the challenges of studying Antarctica, this discovery serves as a natural laboratory, offering opportunities to deepen our understanding. 11. Sea through fish. You won't believe me if I tell you that the world's largest fish breeding area was discovered in Antarctica. Yes, in the freezing waters beneath the icy sheets of the Weddell Sea, Picture a sprawling underwater kingdom spanning 92 square miles or 240 square kilometers, equivalent to the size of Malta, teeming with approximately 60 million nests of Antarctic ice fish. The surprising find unfolded during a research mission aboard the German vessel Polarstern in February 2021. A towed camera system captured the spectacular sight of thousands of nests belonging to the Neopagetopsis iona species on the Antarctic seabed. The sheer density and vast expanse of the breeding area left scientists astonished, challenging preconceived notions about this remote region. The nests, each about three quarters of a meter in diameter or 30 inches, were meticulously documented using an ocean floor observation and bathymetry system. What's fascinating is that the discovery came as a shock even to the seasoned researchers from the Alfred Wegener Institute who have been exploring the area since the early 80s. It's like stumbling upon a hidden city in the depths of the ocean after decades of exploration. The breeding area's location aligns with the inflow of warmer deep water from the Weddell Sea onto the higher shelf, revealing a dynamic interaction with oceanographic conditions. In addition to being a haven for ice fish, the region proves to be a hotspot for Weddell seals, 
with 90% of their diving activities concentrated around the active fish nests. 10. First ever whale skeleton. Have you ever heard of a zombie worm invasion in Antarctica? Well, scientists recently made an astonishing discovery. A whale skeleton on the ocean floor near Antarctica marking the first whale fall found this far south. This boneyard has become a haven for strange life with at least nine new species, including the intriguing zombie worms. Whale falls, where whale carcasses sink to the ocean floor, are incredibly rare encounters. The team, using a remotely operated vehicle, stumbled upon a 35-foot or 10-meter-long spread of bones from a southern minka whale as they explored an undersea crater near the South Sandwich Islands. When whales die, their carcasses provide vital nutrients and habitats for deep sea life. Despite the flesh decomposing within weeks, whale bones can last for several decades, sustaining bacteria and peculiar creatures like the mouthless, eyeless zombie worms that feed off the skeletons. 9. Ernest Shackleton's Ship Ernest Shackleton was a legendary polar explorer, and after 106 years of mystery, his iconic ship, the Endurance, lost in 1915, has finally been discovered off the coast of Antarctica. In a remarkable state of preservation, resting about 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters underwater in the Weddell Sea, the wooden ship appears almost as if time stood still. Described by the expedition's director of exploration, Menson Bound, as the finest wooden shipwreck, the Endurance, with its name still visible on the stern, is a milestone in polar history. Shackleton's ill-fated trans-Antarctic expedition faced disaster when the Endurance became trapped in ice. Despite the crew's prolonged survival on the ship, it succumbed to the relentless pressure of the ice and sank in 1915. The recent expedition, Endurance 22, set out to locate this historical relic. 8. Ningen spotted in Antarctic. Have you ever heard of Ningen? This mysterious aquatic creature, akin to a Japanese mermaid, has recently sparked interest in the world of cryptozoology, originating from an anecdote on a Japanese forum. Sightings and alleged video evidence describe a massive humanoid fish roughly the size of a whale. Spotted off the coast of Antarctica by a Japanese research vessel, the Ningen boasts a 65 to 100 feet or 20 to 30 meter length, a pale white human-like figure with mermaid-like features like torso, appendages and fingers like ours, along with a distinctive tail. Often seen at night and in frigid waters, Speculation arises that it might be hiding beneath Arctic ice. While questionable videos circulate online, skeptics suggest it might be an undiscovered albino ray. However, eyewitness accounts challenge this notion. The Ningen has become a subject of interest for the Japanese government, allegedly collecting reports and even suppressing photographic evidence. Rumors abound of potential medicinal or venomous properties leading to conspiracy theories and tales of government cover-ups. What do you think? Is there a possibility that such a creature really exists? 7. Singing Ice Singing ice has been discovered on the vast Ross Ice Shelf, turning one of the world's largest ice slabs into a natural symphony. The tones, too low for human ears, emanate from the rough surface of the ice, creating an eerie soundtrack. Unearthed accidentally while studying the ice shelf, seismic sensors buried in 2014 revealed that the shelf surface, known as the fern layer, vibrates almost continuously due to the wind. The vibrations respond to weather changes, temperature shifts and storms, making the fern layer alive with vibration. Six creepy golden bristleworm Meet Eulogisca gigantea, the 8-inch or 20-centimeter marine worm that could be the Christmas ornament from hell. Sporting a shiny golden bristle crown and a sharp-toothed maw, 
This unusual creature resides in the Southern Ocean waters near Antarctica. Belonging to the polycaetes or bristle worms, E. gigantea's unique features, including extendable throats with pointy teeth, make it stand out in the deep sea. Discovered in 1939, this mysterious worm's habits and biology remain largely unknown. When feeding, it deploys a retractable pharynx, complete with jaws reaching up to two inches or five centimeters in length. The golden color of its bristles adds a festive touch to its otherwise eerie appearance. With polycate worms found in various habitats from hydrothermal vents to coral reefs, scientists have described 80 families and 8,000 species hinting at the vast, undiscovered world beneath the ocean's surface. Five box with negatives. When conservators working in Antarctica stumbled upon a century-old box of negatives, they unearthed a frozen time capsule from the era of heroic exploration. Believed to be the work of Sir Ernest Shackleton's Ross Sea Party photographer, the 22 cellulose nitrate negatives provide a rare glimpse into the untamed beauty of Antarctica during the early 20th century. The negatives, preserved in a block of ice, were part of the expedition's efforts to set up supply depots. While the photographer's identity remains a mystery, the painstaking restoration by Wellington conservators revealed images that had been frozen in time. This discovery marks the first instance of undeveloped negatives from the Antarctic heroic era, a period of intense exploration for South Sandwich Trench. South Sandwich Trench, nestled in the South Atlantic Ocean, recently made headlines with an unexpected seismic event that puzzled earthquake scientists. Initially reported as a magnitude 7.5 earthquake, it later unveiled a hidden secret. A larger magnitude 8.1 main shock emerged 2.5 minutes after the first tremor. The aftershocks stretched along a 250 mile or 400 kilometer length of the subduction zone, defying the typical seismic patterns. The South Sandwich Islands, part of this seismic tale, form an arc of 11 main islands with an intriguing geological history. Administered by the United Kingdom and claimed by Argentina, these uninhabited islands boast a landscape molded by volcanic activity. The subduction of the South American plate beneath the South Sandwich Plate creates this volcanic arc, with the South Sandwich Plate being one of the youngest and smallest geological plates. 3. Antarctic Fungi Do you think there are any mushrooms in Antarctica? Well, it turns out that not only are there species of mushrooms, but a recent discovery by researcher Robert Blanchett has uncovered three new fungal species on the icy continent. These fungi are not just quietly existing, they've set up shop in the wooden huts built over a century ago by legendary explorers Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott. The huts, remnants of the heroic age of polar exploration, are a treasure trove of history, housing artifacts like newspaper clippings and abandoned supplies. Managed by the Antarctic Heritage Trust, they've been suffering from decay. Robert identified these new species feasting on the wooden structures, shedding light on the biodiversity thriving in Antarctica. Two, rare all-white penguin in Antarctica. When someone says penguin to you, you probably think of cute black and white birds waddling on the icy shores of Antarctica. But during a National Geographic journey to Antarctica, tourists were treated to a surprising sight a rare white mutant penguin hanging out in a chinstrap penguin colony. This peculiar penguin, with its unique blonde appearance, sparked amazement among the onlookers. While it might seem like an albino, this bird is actually displaying Isabellinism, a genetic mutation that dilutes the pigments in its feathers. A 2009 study on Isabellinism described the effect as a uniform lightening of dark colors giving the penguin a grayish yellow or pale brown hue. Penguin expert P.D. Boersma from the University of Washington explained, 
that while Isabellanism and albino traits are technically distinct, they're sometimes used interchangeably. Interestingly, various penguin species like Gentoo and Magellanic penguins can occasionally showcase this color pattern. 1. Strawberry Feather Star In the mysterious depths of the Antarctic Ocean, scientists have unveiled a truly bizarre discovery, a new species with 10 rays and an astonishing 20 arms. This otherworldly creature, part of the Promacochrinus species, has a mesmerizing, strawberry-like appearance. The scientists embarked on a series of research expeditions between 2008 and 2017, exploring the Antarctic Ocean's cryptic sea life. Their efforts led to the identification of seven new species found between depths of 210 to 3,840 feet or 65 to 1,170 meters. This peculiar sea creature exhibits colors ranging from purplish to dark reddish. Its unusual shape and texture resembling a strawberry make it stand out as an alien-like being in the underwater world. Would you like to visit Antarctica? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.